same thing. Just start to get your first and last name so I have that on tape. Margaret Doherty. Margaret Doherty. Now, where did you grow up? Uh, Seattle. In Seattle. Mm -hmm. And um, Actually, Oregon and Washington as a child. Oh, really? M moving. But when I was like adult, Seattle. Um, do you remember the Depression then? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. what, what was it? Where were you when the majority of that was happening? Seattle. And what was that like in Seattle? Uh, I was looking for a job and it wasn't easy, <laughs> but I found it and enjoyed it. What, what did you have? Seattle have? First National Bank. When it was a good bank? Yes. After many, many... It was many across years. the street from the... From, the, from where you Horton were? Horton Building. Was right. Hogue Building? Horton, wasn't it? Hogue, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Across the street, right. So do you remember hearing the news about Pearl Harbor? We were coming down from skiing Sunday night. Heard it on the car radio. So it was a quiet trip. <laughs> well, yeah, I, yeah, what was what was it going through? Because you were pretty young kids at this time. Mm, not really. Or oh, 20, some 20, old? almost 25. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, in today's, young. yeah, I mean, you hadn't seen a lot of the world, not a lot of life experiences right, by that right. time. What was the... I mean, did you know this was coming? Was it just shock? Was... Uh, I think we probably realized it was, but it was a shock, yes. Very. It was a quiet trip down the mountain. <laughs> and and we were awfully quiet on, on the ferry dock. Next morning, went down, I took the ferry from Oceola, Jefferson, and quiet, quiet, quiet. Everybody just stunned. Yeah. Now, were you married? Uh, before Pearl Harbor or married after? After. So you married after. <laughs> and that was the decision whether to wait until he came home or whether to get married because he left in six weeks. After. So so you knew he was going he had already enlisted at this point or Oh yes. Yes he was uh huh. He was called, he left the next morning for Bremerton. Well that's right because he'd been in the reserves. <laughs> so my question is then Knowing that, because the, the, the European war had been going on, so we know that travesties are happening, how did you decide to get married before and after the war? Well, we knew he was going, so we just made up our mind to do it instead of wait. And you never, in your mind, did you ever think he's not coming back, or were you just... No, no, no. Never occurred to me. So now he ventures off to war, and he's over in the South Pacific? Right. And you are now with child. Mm -hmm. What was that like to be? Now, where were you living? By yourself? With or? my mother in a small apartment on Capitol Hill. Working at the bank still? Yes. So? For about four months. <laughs> wow. Trying to make ends meet? And yeah, right. Were you facing the rationing and things like that? That's right. Yeah, had uh, coupons for gas and food and like that. Now, what about doctors for medical care? And of course, it's a little different now. We don't have, you know, you didn't have nine months of prenatal care. Or mm -hmm. But doctors and things, I never thought about that. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. You had regular checkups and whatnot. So now you're trying to communicate with your husband about being pregnant. Mm-hmm. What was what type of things do you write in letters to him? What discussions did you have? Whatever occurred to me, I'd write. <laughs> Whatever I was doing, or you know. Now, had you negotiated a name, or how did? No, nope, not really. Well, we did. We thought of Michael Charles, but it could have been a girl, so we didn't have any girl name. <laughs> and then the day came, and you, right, had a son. And then he was. Howard Doherty Jr. <laughs> now, how did that happen? How did your child get named then? Well, I just decided that that was a better name than Michael Charles. We could have Michael Charles later. <laughs> so, are you writing this back and forth? Because I know you yep, right. can get on the email and. Every day. And so you would have thoughts, write them down, and then how long would it take to have the. The exchange? Yeah. Gosh, I don't know. Don't know how long it took. But 
Anyway, we exchanged letters back and forth. And so finally you wrote them one that said... Right. I'm, I'm naming them and... That's it. And that's it. And I hope you'd be happy. <laughs> now, I saw one letter that said, and I, in writing it, I couldn't tell the tone if it was facetious or serious. You hadn't heard from him for a little while, and you said mm -hmm. something about, I wonder if you still love me. Was that a serious concern, or were you... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Just teasing. <laughs> But that, was that tough? I mean, how did you, did you, did it weigh on you all day long about where he was and what he was doing? No, nope. nope. well, I, 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 I can leave if no. she's embarrassed at all. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't it's think okay. she's, do you I'll think she's embarrassed? I'm just falling. I'll offer you shit. No, just do it a, a go about my own business and little things, what, if I was going any place or anything that happened, I'd just tell him. In the letter. Did you have, were there other military wives in the area that you could commiserate with? No, nope, no. So you and your mom and... And his family. He had big family that would check in and we'd go places and things. Make sure you do. So did, was the wife pretty much normal then? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. were, were you facing the blackouts or anything at that uh, time? Or? No. Mm -mm. So it's, the war was kind of this surreal thing. Far, far away. <clears throat> and you'd see news reels of it. So when did your husband finally get a seam board? He was five months old. And what was that like? Where did it happen? Do you remember how? At our apartment when he came home. There we were. <laughs> By then, my mother and I had moved to a larger apartment, so... Everything was new to him. <laughs> so was that tough to then? Because now you had done five months of being a mom by yourself. Mm -hmm. Now the husband comes back into the picture. Did it take a while to put pieces back together? And No, no. It just, just worked normally. People got done with the service and went back on with life. And mm -hmm. the country was, was running. Right. Do you remember where you were when you heard the war was over? No, I don't. You were too busy being a mom. Right. <laughs> what What happened years... When the war was over, he was long out, see. He was back home. So he came home before the war was over? Oh, yes. Well, that's interesting because you kind of got to get your life back to normal before, you know, people that came back months after the war was, mm -hmm. was done in that way. It was the feeling of the country. I hear a lot of people talking about it was amazing that overnight Pearl Harbor, the next day, the whole country, everybody was focused. Is, is that kind of your... That's true, right? Did you ever have to do any of that? I hear people talk about collecting the metal and doing things like that. No, you know, no. I assume being a mom also, that took a lot of... Do you remember any of the things that were rationed that you really missed? Really? No, nothing. It was more or less the same, really. I talked to a woman earlier today, and it was ketchup. Oh. And she really just loved ketchup, and she saved her stamp, and she got the bottle, and she came home, and she dropped it. Oh, and no. she said she just sat down and just... Oh, no. Oh. And so, but I hear, I've heard different people talk about, you know, putting their kids in line and waiting to get the nylons and yeah, things like right. that. But no, no real problem. You just accepted it, you know. Did you see any of the activity in Seattle with Boeing building planes? Were you aware of any of that? or No. Because mm -mm. that's just a certain part that it, it just seems that life goes on. And, right. You know, when it's over, it's, it's mm -hmm. over. Did your... Uh, so... Mike is, how old would he be now, roughly? He's 58. So did he have to face uh, service then, or is he like... Yes, he was, they were all three boys were in service. Was that tough as a mom, having sent a dad over now? That's right, it was. So now when my daughter or, or the boys talk about, you know, this and that, going to college, being away... 
And I said, thank goodness they didn't have to go to war, you know. That must have almost been kind of a, a deja vu for you. To, I mean, you send your husband off, and then now years later... That's to... right. It wasn't easy, but... But they they did well, and they came back safely. And... Did, did uh, the GI Bill play into effect with you at all? Did... No. The mm -mm. building a house or any of that? Was... Mm -mm. No. And so... How did you get then from Seattle to Port Angeles? We chose it because we were wanted a small town to raise a family, ski, fish, hunt, all those, and we did it. And that was after the war. Now mm -hmm. America was rebuilding and, and that's right. Positive. And he continued to practice law. Stopped flirting with those other skiers, though. <laughs> <laughs> so how was that again that you, the two of you met? Junior Chamber Ski Carnival. And you were one of the, the court? Yeah, right. And that was it, smitten right. and enough to, because again, that just amazes me to think about being engaged, knowing that he's going to go off to, to fight and to say, well, I'm going to go ahead and do it. But I hear a lot of people again to say that, yeah. what's going to happen to me? Just did it. <laughs> and you didn't have to travel around with them all. You weren't one of those no, service no. lines. That... Right. We stayed put. Oh, that makes it much easier. Yes. Was. Well, great. Well, thank you very much. Well. That wasn't too bad, was it? Not too bad. <laughs> not my favorite thing. <laughs> it's it's interesting, the fact, because I, I hadn't even, you know, I've, I've heard people say, well, I was over there and I came back and my son was three years and everything like that. But I never thought about, well, if you were over there and you hadn't discussed a name right. to, to come back. I, there's this one woman that, I, that, that I've talked to on the phone I'm going to interview in a couple of weeks. When her husband came back, their daughter was like three and a half years old. He had never met her. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. And, you know, you, your vision is, you know, getting off in your uniform and your child coming along. Well... He went and was having dinner, and the little girl went over to mom and said, Mom, he's a nice man, but he can't stay here. Oh, you cute. Know? cute. And, and so here was, that just had me devastated. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a little better, five months. Oh, yeah, you know, so, right. You know. He didn't know. He didn't know much either. <laughs> he just gets out of the birthing part and shows That's up. right, the part. right. There I, he I is. I miss that. <laughs> I'm kind of interested if I heard it. But I don't want to interrupt Oh, that's why we're that's, all through. I was just saying you got to skip out on all the birthing part. 